Do you know what controls our life? Well, 95% of our life is coming from the programs that have been installed in us. These programs that are downloaded and installed in our subconscious mind are so potent and compelling that 95% of our lives we lead is controlled, directed and guided by them. What we absorb, distort, delete, how we think, feel and act is all controlled by our subconscious mind. This downloading and installation happens specially and most effectively and effortlessly during the first seven years of our lives. And how does this downloading happen? Well, the brain of a child under seven years of age operates at a lower vibrational frequency. If you are to conduct an EEG test, the obtained readings will clearly show that a child's brain's vibrations or the frequency or the vibration is lower than consciousness. This is called the theta state. We will go into the details of the theta state at some later day and also we'll touch upon the other various states in which our brain waves vibrate at different frequencies. But for the moment, let's understand the theta state because this is something very important for our subconscious mind programming. Theta brain waves occur when one is sleeping or dreaming. It is important to know that they do not occur when you are in your deep or deepest phases of sleep. It occurs when you are just about to drift off to sleep or are suspended at that light phase of your sleep when you are just about to get up. In this state, the brain waves frequency anything between 3 to 8 hertz. This state can also be achieved, of course, when you are wide awake, but that requires you to be in a deeply relaxed calm and a still state of mind. Individual studies and meta-analysis done in 2017 regarding the different neural correlations for implicit and explicit learning suggested that theta state is, apart from many other things, linked to what we call is implicit learning. Now, what is implicit learning? Implicit learning is a learning that occurs when you are doing something that you may not have conscious access to. Like, for example, learning to ride a bike. This state is an important state for processing information and building and making memories. And it's also a very, very high imagination state. That's why you have kids live in a make-believe world of their own. And that's why kids play friend, friend, home, home, family, family, and have tea parties. These are all games and make-believe world they live in. But for them, it's real. And the broom that they sit on is actually a horse for them, but that's imagination, theta imagination. When we are born into the world, nature takes up upon itself to program ourselves, such that we are ready with all the programs necessary to live in this world. It is done by us watching our parents, our siblings, our communities we live in, our environment we are surrounded with, the talk that happens in our homes, in our family, this happens to us by observing the behavior exhibited by people with whom we are in close physical and emotional proximity. This is how we learn the many hundred, hundred, thousand, thousand rules that are required to be a functional member of a family, an operating member of the community. So what happens is simple, very simple. The child in the first seven years just observes, downloads and records that data observes, downloads and records that data and also more importantly forms a certain set of programs or codes in his subconscious mind. This is important because 95% of the life we live comes from these programs in our subconscious mind and for the balance 5% of the time we are using our conscious creative mind. We don't realize this, and that's why it's called subconscious, sub, which is below the conscious level. Haven't we all heard of the saying, give me a child until he's seven years of age, and I will show you what kind of a man he will become. It's good to know the following things about a subconscious mind. One, it is very obedient, very, very obedient. It doesn't question you back. It just accepts, it just accepts anything and everything that you tell it. Two, it is super efficient in playing back to you what you taught it. 
super efficient in playing back to you what you taught it. Three, it is very, very good in looking for evidences around you to prove its programs correct. Four, it is super powerful. It overrides the conscious mind. Now just imagine if a parent continuously tells their child that he doesn't deserve it. The child is not consciously understanding what the parent is telling or meaning. But what is happening is that this is being downloaded and being recorded in the subconscious mind of the child. And if this is said by the parent repeatedly and in an emotional state, then the downloading happens faster and sharper. Now imagine this kid grows up to be a 40, 40, 50 year old person. And what is the way you think the person will behave 95% of the time? Well, the answer comes from the programming that is there in his subconscious mind. And that is, I do not deserve. I do not deserve. This programming is so self-defeating and sabotages the person by making the program come true. The subconscious mind makes the program come true by making the person adjust his behavior to match the program, by making the person adjust his behavior to match the program. I'm sure you must have come across many people who have beliefs such as, oh, I cannot succeed. Life is hard. Life is unfair to me. I cannot make it. Life's a struggle. Good things don't happen to me. I'm unlucky. Good things happen only to others. And you know what? These people also work hard struggle a lot, are sincere and diligent in their work, and in spite and despite of all the hard work and diligence, they don't make it and they don't find success. Why would this happen? What could be the reason? The answer is that these programs downloaded in their early years makes the person exhibit such behavior unconsciously that makes the person take the wrong decisions. This is because while the, his conscious mind he is working very hard and in a positive way, the programs in his subconscious mind are not allowing it to happen. Once we have a certain program instated in us, our subconscious mind then starts looking for evidence to prove it right. Wherever you are struggling in life, inevitably there's a program in your subconscious mind that doesn't support the growth in that area of your life. And this is also true for people who succeed and make it in life. It is the inner programming which makes them take the correct and make the correct choices. At a conscious level, you might know what is good for you and what is not good for you. You might know that, for example, reading self-help books are good for you. You might know that hearing positive podcasts is good for you. But if the subconscious mind has programs which do not support this behavior, you could keep trying, but improvement will not happen. The subconscious mind wins. Well, post the initial years, the subconscious mind learns, downloads and records new programs and trains itself. And this is done by way of repetition. You can't learn how to drive a car or ride a bicycle by just sitting in it and pedaling it or shifting the gears once. You cannot learn all the 26 letters in the alphabet, just like that. You learn it by repetition, by repeating, 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 and repeating. And once it's downloaded in the subconscious mind, it thus happens effortlessly, automatically. If you keep telling yourself that you are sad and unsuccessful, and by continuous repetition, your subconscious mind downloads this program, then a point will come when your subconscious mind will start playing it back to you and you will really start feeling unsuccessful and sad. And conversely, if you keep repeating to yourself, that is to your subconscious mind, that you are smart and happy and positive and good. And if you keep religiously telling yourself that, a point will come when you actually will feel yourself and see yourself and conduct yourself as a happy and a smart and a happy person. Of course, you know, that putting up stickers or notes on doors and mirrors isn't the same thing as repetition. When you see that note you have put up on your workstation wall or laptop or refrigerator, these are more of suggestions and definitely not self-talk. 
Repetition is a habit that is done regularly and consistently at regular intervals. So now, if you've got to train your subconscious mind with this positive talk and empowering programming, what do you think would be the best time to do it? Remember, we talked of a theta state, the state which is good for processing information, making and building memories and implicit learning. When you just are about to fall asleep and are slowly drifting away from consciousness and entering to the realm of theta, have your earphones on and listen to talks and programs that you want your subconscious mind to absorb and download. These talks will not go to your conscious mind, but will directly be playing to your subconscious mind. This is also called auto-hypnosis. Remember, your life is a printout of your subconscious behavior. Remember, your life is a printout of your subconscious behavior. Feed your subconscious mind with what you want it to feed you with. You program it with negativity, hopelessness and despair. In time to come, 95% of your life will be like that. But feed your mind and program it with positivity, a can-do attitude and with empowering resolutions and your subconscious mind will then start making you live a life full of that. Look at your life today. The things you like and the things which empower you are there because you have programs in your subconscious mind that support it. Whereas things that happen to you, which you don't like, which pull you down, take you to a below average state, and are there in your life because you have programs installed in you which support the growth of that. The power of belief is huge. Haven't we heard of the placebo effect? Placebo in Latin stands for I will please and refers to the treatment that appears real but is designed with no curing or therapeutic effect or benefit. So people who are unwell when given pills, start feeling better. But in reality, the pills were just plain, simple sugar pills. It wasn't the pills that made the patients feel better. It was their belief in the medicines that made them feel better. This was when positive beliefs result in positive change. Did you see just how powerful this is? Your brain can actually convince your body and make it feel better. And of course, there's negative self-talk, disempowering beliefs that result in the creation of negative biological states and situations. Just another example of how powerful your mind is and can either make or break you. When you're stressed about something and stay like that for a while, you get more prone to sickness and illness. Now, one would wonder how the mind which is stress releases results in illness. Well, there's science behind this and a full process around it. Stress releases a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol basically curbs functions that are non-essential or harmful in a flight, fight or flight mode. Because now the focus is on fight or flight mode. More energy and efforts are directed towards this activity rather than any other activity. And thus even the immune repair systems in our body get a backseat. Come to think of it, if you are in a forest or a jungle and have some bacterial infection also at the same point in time, and then you get up in the night and are being chased by some ferocious animal in the jungle in the middle of nowhere, would you rather have your energies directed in making you run away and making out your way out of the jungle into a safe zone? Or do you rather have your energy is being spent on your body find the bacteria and the bacterial infection? So stress is a mental state that leads to the lowering of the immune system and that leads to getting more prone to getting unwell and sick. See how the mind is. Let me give you another example to just how powerful our mind is. We always knew that our genes play a significant role in our health, our behavior, our way of thinking and the way we approach and respond to things and the way we just react and respond, yeah. And we play victim, don't we? And say, oh, what can we do? Well, 
then let's talk about epigenetics. Epigenetics is a study of how your behavior, mind you, important. The study of how your behavior and environment can cause changes and affect the way your genes are read and thus work. Well, unlike genetic changes, epigenetic changes are reversible and do not change your DNA sequencing. But they can change how your body reads a DNA sequence. Well, that's why it's called epigenetics. The Greek prefix epi in epigenetic implies that the features are in addition to or on top of it, of the original traditional genetics. So, genetics, epigenetics changes are modifications to DNA that regulate whether genes are turned on or off. The environment and more importantly, our perception of our environment and our behavior can change our genetic activity. And therefore, if I can change my environment, if I can change my behavior, if I can change my perception, then I'm no longer a victim of my genes. And can I can actually alter and control my genes. I'm now moving away from victimhood to mastery. As I said earlier, a subconscious mind is very obedient. It doesn't question you back. It just accepts. It is super efficient in playing back to you what you taught it. It is very good in looking for evidences around you to prove its programs correct. It is super powerful. It overrides the conscious mind. It is very important to program your mind with things that you want to see in your life, with what you want to become. Successful, happy, super healthy, great relationships, wealth and a money magnet. What else? Name it. Have the correct programming. Have the correct mindset. And your life will give you what you want. Positive and empowering programs in your subconscious mind. A successful and a winner's mindset will transform you and make you live a life of your dreams. It will make you unstoppable. It will make you incredible. And it will make you live a life of your dreams.